and proof of enrollment and progress report on the community labor. Actually, Your Honor, on the community labor, if she's entering into a residential treatment program, I don't think she'll be able to get started on that until she completes. All right, that's 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 a good point. We'll set that date later on. All right, do you understand and accept all the terms and conditions of your probation in this matter? Yes, sir. All right, then we have uh, um, SA076679, waive time for sentencing and arraignment for judgment on that matter. Yes, sir, on the legal cause. and she's to comply with the terms and uh, conditions uh, of all court orders. Do you understand and accept all the terms and conditions of your probation in this matter? Yes, sir. Now, other than um, obey all laws, you had uh, already completed all the affirmative obligations that you had on this particular matter prior to today's date. So, uh, in essence, what you need to do is comply with the the court's orders in 2WA25043 and stay out of trouble. All right, um, so this uh, for now, we'll include the matter for now, uh, a, a suggestion, don't drive. Um, you know, I, you're in New York, you don't need to drive. Uh, but that's not, not a condition of your probation. And uh, I think you need to be aware of the fact that uh, I had indicated that I was going to suspend 270 days and impose 30 days on the PV matter. Um, you've chosen to take the, the people's option, which is fine. Uh, however, you, you really need to understand that even though the, there's, there's 180 days suspended on one case, and then you have also the time, uh, uh, well, I think, I think technically really she has a six months uh, max on the um, open case, well, the recently open case, the 2WA case. Uh, this is this is it. You violate your probation, then we're not going to be having discussions about putting you back on probation on either the, on either of these cases. We're just going to impose sentence, and we're going to be done with it. So please take these conditions seriously. Your attorneys work hard to get uh, this offer uh, and under, under these terms, and uh, you need to comply. All right, Judge. There's one other point I just we've mentioned briefly in chambers. Uh, the prosecutors in this court is mindful of the fact that on or about November 29th, which was the, the date that these charges emanated, Ms. Lohan was arrested on the assault ch case in Manhattan, which appears to be a matter that was not well founded. And it's my belief that the prosecutors with whom I've been working closely in New York will no doubt probably decline to prosecute Ms. Lohan. But in the unusual circumstance, if that matter were to move forward, and regardless of what the outcome is, the prosecutors have indicated, and I think the court has indicated, that that will not impact what we're doing today because your directives are addressing events that take place from this moment forward, not this moment backwards. And I just want to state it on the record for clarity. All right, let me, let me clarify that because it's not entirely correct. As to 2WA25043, she's being, being placed on probation today. So obviously anything that transpired prior to today's date would not be a violation of that case. However, as to the SA case, she's been on probation right. since May of 2011. I'm not making any representations as to any other unknown or uh, uh, possible violations that may have occurred between May 11th and today that I'm not aware of. Uh, they're not before me. So, uh, but as to the 2WA case, obviously prior conduct would be irrelevant. As to the SA 76679 case, that's a different story. Yes, right.
the selection of that program? It has to fall within the parameters of the plea agreement, and obviously we could address that when we come back on uh, uh, for the proof of enrollment. I did forget one, one item, uh, and that was the search and seizure condition that was being requested and agreed to, which is not normally part of a misdemeanor plea, but as part of this plea agreement, so it's not on the form. So, um, part of this agreement, Ms. Lohan, is that you're to submit your person or property to search and seizure any time of the day and night by any law enforcement officer or probation officer, moving without a warrant, probable cause, or reasonable suspicion. Do you understand? Yes. You want know, one final point again? I'm sorry. Yes, Mr. Uh, as you will recall, I noted in chambers that uh, the, the, the defendant is going to be eligible, assuming that she successfully completes all the probation, to an expungement of any prior charges that she has. So ostensibly, at the end of this proceedings, as to these open cases, although she's pled to two out of the three, I believe that there will be no uh, objection to one of those two being dismissed at the end of the conclusive period. Is that correct? Uh, that was the agreement. But also, uh, as a matter of law, if she successfully completes probation, she will be eligible to have these the uh, expungement would only be addressed to the two prior matters, so she'll have a clean record if she successfully completes everything at the conclusion. To, to the extent that they're as, as clean as it's going to get with an expungement, yes. Yes, thank you. Um, and as to one of the charges, I believe okay. there was an agreement as to, I guess, count three, that that would be uh, actually uh, withdrawn and dismissed at the conclusion. So uh, that one will be. Is that right? Yeah, uh, it was two or three. Um, we'll figure that out. Um, All right. Well, uh, and count one is uh, dismissed based on this theory. Yes. People's motion to dismiss count one is granted. Any Thank further? You. All right. There, uh, we will see uh, counsel at least on May 2nd.